Oh, welcome to my presentation video. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm just gonna briefly explain, explain like the process um, that I went through to uh, make my zenith. Um, and yeah, so I was inspired by Inner Heartbeat since it's you know I want to make mine center around like like kind of a queer romance, and so obviously I. Um, looked back at this. Um, uh, I also really liked like how like the heart was personified as like um, the character's inner feelings. Uh, that was one of my inspiration. My other inspiration was um, Steven Universe. Um, it's a show that also has like queer representation, but I was focused more on like the art style of it um, rather than the storyline. Like um, like there's a lot of backgrounds that look like this with like really like, soft pastel, pretty color schemes. And it just has like a nice visual appeal, you know? Yeah, and I was also inspired by um, this TikTok creator, which uh, I found on my Instagram page one day. Um, just like, uh, I don't know, like this look that she does sometimes, like, um, I don't know, I guess kind of inspired like my main character concept, like this is a, like, one of the first sketches I made about this about this idea, just like like the person who has like clouds for hair. Yeah, those were my inspirations. Um, and then after that, I got started on uh, storyboarding. So yeah, basically what I did is I just listened to um, the song. I want to be the background music over and over again because that's like what I like had planned from the beginning. I wanted. I knew I wanted to like animate to that specific song. Um, and so I just thought of like, oh, what like interesting visuals could go with like that part. I thought like, oh, maybe at like the beginning, I could like zoom in on the main character and have like a, a close up. Yeah, I also really wanted to do some like complicated stuff with my like jumping here, like across clouds, like there were platforms and chasing the heart. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff I like, scrapped was just for the sake of like time and also like i want to get it done before the deadline so okay and this is uh okay so originally i still like wasn't completely fully set on the idea of 2d animation so i was like because i'd never really like did it as much before and i never really like did it long form like i wanted to do with this project so i was like oh okay i'll just like maybe i'll just like try it out you know like test the waters um so I made this just to try to like get a feel for it um, and I was pretty like satisfied with it so I was like oh okay I can just keep like using this process found what works yeah I duplicated a lot of layers like you can see here um, then I just changed up like the hair you see on cloud first and like the, the shape of the clouds here this is um, scene where she like like oh no the heart escapes and then she like trips and falls and then <laughs> little poof of clouds uh so after i was finished with all like these like line art sketches i start coloring them um well first i drew i drew up some like of the backgrounds uh, and yeah i pretty much just like made a copy of like this document okay yeah here's with a different background um oh yeah it was kind of tricky to like get like this like, teardrop thing on uh, her hoodie to like, like kind of like follow, and, like stay in the same place. Honestly, I think I kind of just forgot that I wanted to have this design on their clothes and I didn't remember until I started coloring it. So that's why it's not like part of the line art. Um, but yeah, it, it worked out in the end, you know, just I figured it out. It's fine. But yeah, and then after I was done with all the coloring, I um, threw it all together in Premiere Pro. Actually, the first thing I did was I like put like um, all the uncolored clips together and I 
as like little animatic just for one of the progress checks. Um, then I just um, I just put the uh, colored version kind of on top because I I think I already figured out how I wanted like the timing of like um, stuff to be with the animatic, so I just kind of did the same thing. Also, I made this background like kind of like lesbian flag because you know this color scheme. Um, it was like a little bit unintentional, but also kind of intentional, you know. Um, Isn't it like advantage you're using uh, Premiere instead of using After Effects for you know like um, love animation? What what's the reason? Um, uh, I don't know. It just um, I feel like it's a little bit simpler because um, like After Effects has like more like layers. I feel like whereas like Premiere you just have like like video one, video two, video three, and then I I, don't know, I feel like it's like easier to see like all the stuff. Lined up, or I don't know. I I just prefer uh, Premiere Pro, I guess. Okay. Okay. Any other comments, guys? Okay. So there's. Oh, yeah. I was just gonna say I really like all the cloud usage. <laughs> you did good with the the whole theme of uh, love being portrayed in the clouds. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.